Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to answer the age old question of what do I do when Microsoft has new ADMX downloadable files and I already have a central store? So here you can see my sysfile with my policies in it. These are all the GPOs that I have. I've got a policy definitions folder that's Microsoft Central Store. There's also the Policy Pack Central Store. Anyway, here's the Policy Pack definition, the policy definitions from Microsoft here. You can see them all hanging out here. So, what do you do? Some people think, "Oh, I need to get rid of the existing ones." And some people are like, "I need to start over." Let me just set this just clear this out once and for all. Here's exactly what to do. So, here I'll just leave this up there. And then I'll also go ahead and open up my temp folder. In my temp folder, I've just downloaded the latest, greatest ADMX files, and I've unpacked them to this folder called 1709 ADMX policy definitions. Now, I don't know when you're watching this video. You could be watching this video four years from this date. That's fine too. Um, the, the rules are generally exactly the same. What you're going to do is take all the um, take the files in your languages. So the only language I support is en-us. I'm going to take all those guys and I'm going to just smash them right on top of what already exists here. So I'm going to copy here. It's going to say, hey, I've got some files that overlap. That's correct. You're going to replace those, but leave the existing ones in place. And then you'll do the exact same thing for the ADMX. Now, here's, here's, uh, let me show you when you do this. You can see something that's a little interesting that happens. Let me go ahead and unclick that just to be, a, just to demonstrate this. When you copy all these puppies over on top of the existing ones, so I'll go ahead and copy here. I'll go ahead and replace the 202 files in the destination. But wait a minute, 202, I've got 221. 202, I've got 221. So when you replace the files in the destination, what you're doing is you're smashing over the stuff that has any overlap or has any updates. If if you don't click the mouse right away, what you can see is actually the 21 things that are left behind, which is totally correct. You're supposed to just leave these guys in place. The chances of you using these are uh, pretty small, or they could be from other sources. Okay, so for instance, you can see that I've got some some ADMX files from Policy Pack. You can see I've got some ADMX files from some other third-party sources. I might have some old and crusty ones from Microsoft that are still okay, but there's no reason to nuke them off the map. Okay, so that's that's the gist here. Anyway, you know you did it right. When you go click on any group policy object here, I'll go ahead and click GPO 123 here. Okay, I'll dive down under computer side or user side, policies, admin templates. And if you hover over here, boom, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see that ADMX files are retrieved from the central store. And at this point, you now have all the, the most up to date things that you could possibly do in the latest greatest, window, uh, latest greatest Windows, and it works retroactively for previous versions of Windows. So that's the general deal. I just wanted to explain um, if you've already got a policy definition slash central store, what do you do? You simply take all the new stuff that Microsoft gives you and stomp it over the old stuff. Don't nuke your existing central store. There's not really an advantage for doing that. In fact, you could be shooting yourself in the foot by getting rid of some things that you might actually be using. Okay, that's it. Hope this helps you out and looking forward to getting you started with either group policy training or policy pack real soon. Thanks so much.